Students at Sammamish have taken on the cause of raising money for Duchenne muscular dystrophy research. Many years ago, the students at Sammamish found out that one of our teachers had a son with this disease. The boy's name is Aiden, and our students wanted to help, so they started the Walk for Aiden. It has turned into the biggest student-led fundraiser in the area. The Walk for Aiden is a big community event with games and food and music and a little bit of walking. The entire school gets involved. Some of our classes have also become involved. Our algebra teachers gave their students this problem. Design a game that could be played at the Walk for Aiden that would help to raise money. Students worked in teams on this authentic problem. The goal was to learn collaboration and problem-solving skills that are needed in the 21st century, along with the math concepts. The math the students needed to learn in order to solve this authentic problem was mathematical probability. So another thing to think about is, if you guys were selected to walk for Aiden, you're trying to make a profit. For the kids, it was a really authentic problem. We're making this game. This game's going to be used at a fundraiser for the school. Students learn the math, but along the way they learned these other skills. How to work in a team, how to problem solve, how to communicate with each other, how to communicate with others. What we're trying to really do at Sammamish is completely transform the way that our students learn from being uh, teacher-led classrooms to being really student-driven, student-led classrooms. Our school is uh, in the process of transforming all of our courses into problem-based learning courses. What it looks like is the students are actually working in teams to solve problems. They have to figure out what a solution is to this problem. During the process of solving the problem, they're going to have to be learning the content of that course. <laughs> so we were doing probability when we made this game, and that's why we have a die and a spinner. Because Miss Lynch was like, we should have more than one variable, and that'll make it more interesting. During the process, our students are going to be learning skills that they need to be successful in college and careers, working in teams, being able to collaborate, or communicate, solving complex problems, be persistent, innovate. These are all things that our students really need to be able to do to be literate in the 21st century. Teachers are learning how to collaborate with each other to write and plan this new curriculum and they're learning how to do all the communication and the problem solving and so really our teachers are doing the same thing, the same process that the students are having to go through. To be able to have their game played at the carnival was pretty exciting for the kids because they knew they personally were helping to raise money for this teacher's son. Okay, have you had somebody actually win? Yeah, we've had people win 